smaller. So when the colonial era, the United States came from the British colonies, and so they had a thick British accent. Shortly thereafterwards, like a hundred years, the wild, wild west would develop an incredibly deep Western accent. How much of this was in due part by the immigrants from afar? Well, I'd argue that it wasn't because none of them sound quite like it, but ostensibly it would then have to become from broken British language accents. But at which point, greatest knowledges such as the um, science community and then have it be something as easy as how much of a distillery and a refinery can constitute for state-of-the-art equipment but is no further than the horizon on things. The magnitude of it I just described is can't be handled in something so preposterous like a Doctor Strange when he's uh, incorporated into a vaster knowledge, especially when it doesn't need to be. There's like things that are so simple as why is your hair curly on your legs? People don't know why. And it is something that's, you know, there every day. And wouldn't you like to know? So back to bringing a full circle or something as a eyewitness losing its dignity, you need something so intuitious, so intuitive that it would be obvious that an eye counter witness when it comes to the jury would uh, be ostensibly something that is prominent. And that's one reason why the jury um, is a representation of we the people. It's just that if we the people have so many people that aren't um, originally attributed from the motherland, such as if there's well, out, there's like four circumstances which are horrendous. One can be cybernetic, the other being um, alien, and then the there's two offshoots from those which would incorporate how like a square root function has four solutions, but there's only two of them that you would mention because possibly because there isn't um, enough appeal. So you have to start even smaller. So when the colonial era, the internet on the radio, the radio on the internet, this is a catch-22. Personal identification is so important, and perhaps it could be the answer that solves everything, is having perfect IDs. Something that can't be snatched is like your definite amount of neurons. You have 86 billion neurons and 100 trillion synapses paths that they've created that has an architectural something field. like a crop a cropping field of all these specific plants that have grown and the moment that someone tries to say they're their plants well if you have the structure of all the plants in your field you can point out and show why it's yours because there's only specific growth of plants there's no two plants that have the same growth same as the paths of your memories. So in that respect, if you attribute things like that are put on backwards, or putting them on the right way, would make something connect and an ability to open, like Bluetooth headphones. The moment you put them on backwards, left and right, instead of right and left, they won't work, but when you switch them around, the Bluetooth turns on. This could be something where whatever you do, nothing can harm the specifics that you have engaged in internally because they're yours. No one should be able to take away your health. And this goes in line with what um, test kits are in the legal system. When someone says that they've been taken advantage of and then they whip out a test kit this needs to get jacked up and articulated to the T of neurons and transmitters and the specific designs that your brain has thought up of so that it can't be taken by being brainwashed. In the Bible, it's called lame. And so 
If you combine the two with the radio and the internet and lay and lame, the association property of mathematics, the rabbit hole of accentuations, four solutions, how like a square root function has, where there's always two over accentuations, which would 